Hello business people and business students. Uh, welcome to another lessons of our MS Excel tutorial series. So in this lesson, we will discuss uh, additional worksheet formatting so before we will share it and print it. So let's go. Kung bago ka pa na sa channel ko, please click the subscribe button and notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga tutorial lesson na katulad nito. So please post the, the video first and download the file. The file name is grab and go. The file link is in the description below. Okay, so in this lesson, uh, we will have an uh, um, additional uh, worksheet formatting. No? Uh, before we will print no the the report no or the the sheet okay so in our previous re lesson uh, we already discussed no how to um, add no add columns and add or insert columns and insert rows no then we also discussed how to adjust no the columns and rows for example this one so yung motorcycle natin no hindi siya mag fit no so we will adjust that one automatically so so uh, what we will do is just uh, double click no in this area no between the line between g uh, column g and column h okay double click so para mag kasya siya then including the the, he the header no yung crew name Okay, double click. Okay, the next one is um, we can also hide, no, hide the, the columns and rows, no. So to hide your column and row, just click the whole um, column that you want to hide. For example, in this one, yung zone ang hide natin. So just right click. Now then, click hide. That one, no. You can also unhide, no? So, to unhide, pwede mo siyang i-click yung dalawa dito, no? Then, unhide. Yung column C at column E between, no? Then, unhide. Para lumabas yung uh, zone na naman. Okay, so that is how to hide and unhide. Same with columns with the rows, no? Ganun din, no? Hide and unhide. Okay, so next lesson is transposing rows and columns. So, go to sheet 2. Okay, so in when you transpose rows and columns, the cell will change its orientation. No? That the rows will become columns. No? The rows will become columns and the column will become rows. Okay, so in this example, yung month natin magiging row yan at the the crew name will become columns okay so to do that no uh, highlight no the whole table then uh, right click or control c no whatever mas ano sa inyo mas comfortable no so copy then go to cell a10 or anywhere no you want uh, then right click then sa paste options uh, find the transpose no uh, ito no icon okay transpose icon okay so then click that one so as you observe no that the crew name no andito na siya okay sa so, column then the months andito na siya okay so this is analysis per month na naman no ito okay so that that's how you transpose no yung rows and columns okay you can also change the style of the, the cell no or change the themes of of the whole worksheet okay so change the style of your um, of the cells no uh, you can highlight no highlight the whole table or 
kung ano yung gusto mong i-change yung styles okay then go to cell styles no yan then select 40% accent no this one or any color na gusto mo no then click that one okay so that would be the your style no sa ano mo and you can also change the themes no of the whole worksheet no um to change the themes no uh, go to page layout this one okay then themes okay you can select any any themes you like no uh, for example facade or gallery no uh, integral na lang no uh, change it to integral Okay, so as you observe, no, na change yung kanyang font style, no, font size, no, of the whole uh, worksheet, no. You can also change the color here, no. Uh, this one, no. So, pansin nyo, nag-change yung kanyang color, no. Yan, so any color you want, no. Or you can change the fonts. This one, no. Okay, so it will save time, no, instead of um, editing, no, each, ano, uh, cell, no, sa kanilang font and font style, no, at yung color din nila. Okay. Okay, next is preparing our worksheet for printing. Okay, so first we will add header and footer. Okay, so go to sheet 3. Okay, so we will add header and footer here for printing so go to page layout so click the page setup button here then click yung header footer tab then uh, click yung custom header so in the header portion we have three portion no? we have center left header center header and right header section okay so you can put ano um, page number here do it as a ano uh, right no so anywhere you want so for this uh, video we'll add lang una yung nickname natin dito so meaning uh, it means that you are the one who are processing this ano uh, this this document no okay. type your nickname no yan then click OK. Okay. So then custom custom ano uh, click custom footer and click ano uh, type confidential. Okay, confidential. No? Or you can also uh, enter yung page number. No, insert page number. Or number of pages na. So, click natin to. Ayan, page number. So, meron siyang uh, code. Nandito. Okay. So, click OK. Then, click um, OK. Okay. So, we can, ano, uh, we cannot see the footer here, no? We can, uh, we can only see the footer um, pag i-print natin. So, mapansin nyo ito. Ito yung print area natin. Okay? Ito siya, no? So meaning uh, hindi magkasya yung page natin sa paper, no? So we can um uh, customize our margin or orientation or the size of the paper, no? Or we can hide, no, yung mga data hindi natin kailangan. Okay? So, for this example, no, we can select yung orientation, no, to landscape para magkasya yung ano natin. Okay, so this is, this line is yung uh, line natin doon sa pag-print natin. Pag i-print preview natin yan, no, print preview. Okay. So, meron siyang dito sa taas, no, yung ano natin. Um, header, no? At yung sa baba, yung footer. 
Okay, go back to our worksheet. Okay, so what if I want to print uh, a report for each uh, for each crew? Okay, for example, I want to print yung kay Kati, kay Luther, at kay Bill na report. No, separate report for them. But I want also na yung ano yung header niya ito, itong header na ito is mag-repeat siya per report. Okay, sa printing. So, to do that, okay, to repeat yung cross and column sa printing, okay, so we'll set first the, the print area. Okay, so first, highlight nyo yung ano, area na gusto nyo i-print. Example, ito. Okay, so do not include the header, no? Then, set print area. Then, another one, yung kay Luther, no? S uh, add, no? Add to print area. Then, another one is kay Bill, no? Add to print area. Okay? Then, click yung page, page setup. Then, go to sheet na tab. So, mapansin nyo dito, dito na yung print area natin. Okay? Yung tatlo. Then, Sa rows to repeat, no, at the top, click nyo yan, then, i-highlight nyo yung rows na gusto nyo i-repeat. So, in our case, ha, itong header na ito, no, ito, itong rows 1, 2, 4, okay, then, click that one, then click, okay. Okay, if you go to print preview, no, print natin yan. So, we have three pages, no? So, itong kay Kati. So, the next page is kay Luther. So, mapansin nyo, andyan pa rin yung header niya. Okay, then kay Bill. Okay? So, that's how you do that, no? To repeat the rows and column as your uh, part of your uh, report. Okay? You can also... Uh, Print the whole page no in in just one uh, the whole worksheet in just one page no. So for example, uh, as first uh, clear print area, no. So pansin yun dito no the the worksheet no hindi siya mag fit sa paper. Okay, so to make it fit no sa isang paper lang. Okay. Kita niyo yung lines dito, no? So go to page layout, no? Page layout then so height, no? Um Okay, so let us first set the orientation to portrait na para ano. Okay, portrait, no? So pag i-print natin ito, uh hindi siya magkasya, no? Yan, hindi siya mag-fit. Okay, so to make it ano, fit in one page, go to page layout, then um, sa height, no? set it one page lang, no? one page. Okay, yan. tick mo yan. Okay, so pansin nyo yung line niya is nag-fit, no? fit na siya sa one page. Okay, so pag i-print nyo yan, no? Print preview. So, fit na siya sa isang page. Okay? Okay, so that's all for this lesson. So, if this video helps you in your business, in your studies, no? Uh, please click, no, the subscribe button as a support for this channel. And add also comment, no, and suggestion. Okay, so, have a good day.